When Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr announced they were getting a divorce, fans all over the world were devastated. The couple was known for their striking looks and incredible talent at their respective jobs. However, Orlando and Miranda showed everyone that ex-partners can still be great friends and that having a modern family can be very fun. When Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr met in 2007, they were at the height of their respective careers. Miranda became a Victoria's Secret Angel while Orlando was promoting the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie. In an interview, Kerr confessed that she was reluctant to go out with the actor because she didn't like the idea of dating a movie star. She even turned Bloom down a few times. However, Orlando kept trying. Miranda confessed that the star's persistence won her over. Maybe he wanted me because he thought he couldn't have me, she added. The lovebirds began dating. At first, they tried to keep their relationship under wraps. It wasn't until the following year that they made their romance public by attending a race in Australia, Miranda's home country. The event happened a day after Orlando met the model's parents. Aww, so cute! Although the relationship was finally out in the open, the lovebirds continued being notoriously private. In 2009, rumors about the stars being engaged began circulating, especially after Miranda was spotted wearing a ring. Finally, the actor's representative confirmed that the couple was getting married. Only a month after confirming the engagement, reports about the couple getting married started. The rumors were also true this time. The lovebirds had tied the knot in an intimate ceremony. Miranda had even canceled her public appearances with little notice in order to attend. A month after the wedding, the model announced she was four months pregnant. Wow, so much news, so little time. I've always been open about wanting to be a mother one day, Miranda said, and I've always thought Orlando would be a great dad. Expecting a child didn't stop Kerr's modeling career. At 24 weeks, she became the first pregnant model to appear on a Vogue cover when she was featured in Vogue Australia. Finally, Flynn, the couple's son, was born on January 2011. Miranda announced it through her blog, saying he was a very healthy and big baby boy. The Cora Organics founder also revealed she had given birth without any pain medication. Kerr explained that the labor had been long, arduous, and difficult, but that Bloom was by her side, supporting and guiding her. I could not have done it without him, she stated. Later, Miranda admitted that even if Orlando had been of great help, he had also panicked a little. At one point, the actor said, Give me the epidural. Seriously, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Years after giving birth, Kerr admitted that she regrets not having an epidural, saying she was crazy for not accepting the pain medication. During an interview, Miranda confessed that she thought she was going to die during childbirth and that the pain was so intense during the 27-hour labor that it felt like an out-of-body experience. Although the couple continued being reserved about their life, Miranda gave fans a glimpse of their family life when she revealed that they used to chant every morning and night. We chant as a family. Flynn sits there and has his little beads. He loves it. Orlando was and is still a Buddhist. Although Miranda didn't share this religion, she explained that she was spiritual and meditated daily. As beautiful as their routine seemed, rumors of crisis soon began circulating in the couple after they were both spotted without their wedding rings. Kerr's manager denied the claim, saying there was absolutely no truth in the story. Bloom's mother also spoke out about the gossip, saying, I don't know where this has come from, but my gosh, they are very happy. Miranda herself seemed to indirectly address the gossip when she explained that they were going to spend the Christmas holidays together as a family. The wonderful thing is that we're all together, she stated. The pair attended the 2013 Golden Globes, where they held hands and looked lovingly at one another. At the after party, the actor told reporters that his wife was so beautiful, while the model said she was looking forward to dancing with her husband. We might never know if these displays of romance were genuine or just an attempt at dismissing the rumors. We do know that in October of that same year, the couple's representatives announced their split. In a joint statement, they explained that the celebrities had been amicably separated for a few months and had decided to formalize their separation. The statement continued by saying, Despite this being the end of their marriage, they love, support, and respect each other as both parents of their son and as family. Soon after, the pair finalized their divorce. About a month later, Orlando talked about the breakup in an interview. He explained that the fact that Miranda and himself were both so busy and were both well-known was very challenging. I love Miranda and she loves me. We both adore and love our son. The star also said they both knew they would be in each other's lives forever, raising their son. Miranda also opened up about the split during an interview with Elle magazine, where she admitted that the end of the marriage affected her mental health. 
I actually fell into a really bad depression, she explained. The model wasn't interested in dating again. Miranda was surprised by her feelings because she had always been a very happy and positive person. In order to bounce back after the divorce, the star had to realize that every thought you have affects your reality and only you have control of your mind. The entrepreneur began meditating twice a day and turned to yoga, aromatherapy, and healthy eating. Soon, she was able to create a wonderful foundation for happiness. With time, Kerr found love again. During an event at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, she sat next to Evan Spiegel. Evan is one of the founders of Snap Inc., which created the popular social media Snapchat. Miranda was unsure about starting a new relationship because she didn't really believe in love anymore. I felt a little bit overwhelmed with what had happened, Kerr said during an interview. Evan was very patient with the model, who explained that their relationship evolved slowly and they were friends before they began dating. Once their love story began, Miranda was delighted, saying, I never even thought that this kind of love was possible. The couple married in 2017. They currently have two children together. Bloom has also found love again with another star, singer Katy Perry. The two met at a fast food restaurant after the 2016 Golden Globes. The actor made a first impression by stealing one of Perry's burgers. The couple broke up in 2017 but got back together a year later, to the delight of their fans. In 2019, Katie and Orlando got engaged. Sadly, the lovebirds had to postpone the ceremony due to COVID-19 and are yet to tie the knot. Bloom and Perry welcomed their daughter in August 2020. One could think that co-parenting their son would be challenging for Orlando and Miranda after they broke up and got married to different people. However, nothing could be further from the truth. The two are still friends and get along with each other's partners. The most important thing is that when he has his time with me, we have quality time together, and when he's with his dad, he has quality time with him, Miranda said. Bloom and Kerr still share cute parenting moments together from time to time. For example, Orlando shared a picture of Flynn hugging a billboard that featured his mother. What's not to love? She's a wonderful mother, a great friend and co-parent, he wrote in the caption. During an episode of the Ladies First podcast, Miranda opened up about her current relationship with the actor, saying it was incredible that they had been able to find other partners who work really well with us. The model also revealed that Orlando and Evan get along very well and Katie and her do too. It's such a blessing and it doesn't need to be any other way. It can be harmonious and you can be super kind, she explained. Miranda and Katie are great friends. I adore Katie and I just feel so happy that Orlando has found someone that makes his heart so happy. She said, adding that for Flynn to have a happy father and mother was the most important thing. We are delighted to hear how happy Orlando and Miranda are. Here at Rumor Juice, we admire the exes for their friendship and dedication to their son, and wish their modern family all the happiness in the world. Be well and be kind.